We're on day two of the Sydney CDI and I'm Chantal Wigan and in the background um, you'll be able to see Ferrero um, who I brought with me on my return to Australia in October 2010. Um, so Ferrero and I will reserve uh, for Kentucky for the World Equestrian Games in 2010 and we're planning our Olympic debut in London to 2012, that's our main aim. So yesterday we had a very successful ride um, in pretty slim conditions. It was uh, puddly and rainy and windy, so Sydney hasn't had great weather this year, which is a shame, but um, life goes on. So the Grand Prix special today, starting at 12.30, running through to 4, and uh, we'll give it our best shot. I'm looking forward to um, taking it all on. It's gonna be great. Okay, you're one of our newest exhibitors and sponsors. Yes, um, I am. How, how are you finding it this year? Very, very good. Yeah. Very exciting. I've got well, a new range with me, so it's you know it's all very exciting. And uh, as you know, it's a hundred-year-old business, four generations. Well, I know uh, that, but I'm also thinking, Kay, that <laughs> one of the things about EJ and Co is, besides the fact that it's beautiful jewellery, it's also got that equestrian theme all the way through. All it, the and way through. It's very through. subtle. It's a really lovely, yes. beautiful quality. Yes. It's for horse lovers. You know, I designed it for horse lovers all over the world. And if anybody ever wants any Anything especially made for themselves, mm -hmm. we can design it. And we'll see you back here for the Nationals? To be able to showcase and show your jewellery, it's a beautiful place. Yeah. Well, so. it's, it's a perfect match, I think. Yes. Your jewellery really fits in with the CDI. Yes. Lynn, back at the now the 2011 CDI, as long as I've been involved on the organising committee, rider shop have been coming and I have to say, I know from my own point of view and other riders, I'm absolutely head here first of all, simply because of the fabulous gear that you always have. Thank you very much and it's a pleasure to be back here again and as always we'd like to thank the committee very much um, for giving us this opportunity to show our goods. Well I know I'm always looking for new gear and as I said before, I always head in here. What have you got new this year? This year we're very excited. We've got the new Animo range, which comes with fantastic um, technical fabrics for your competition jackets, tails, uh, your competition shirts, amazing breeches. Bit of fashion? Absolutely. <laughs> it is so stylish, made in Italy, and yeah. Yeah. the the Italians do it well. Yep. Of course, all of our other normal brands like Jasimi, yep. Iris Bayer, yep. uh, and all I of the others. I think it's the quality. The quality is always so good. So yes. Yeah. Well, we try to get the quality and the colour and for things to look nice and for people mm. to feel good when they're riding. Yeah. Well, I think we certainly do that. Not just riding, Lynn. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs>
Yesterday I rode the Grand Prix on JB Alabaster. Uh, it was Alabaster's first start since the World Championships last year. Uh, it's quite a, a big event for, for us as a combination. Um, I really wanted him to do a really smooth test with harmony and and hopefully do a little bit more than what we did in the WEG test. Brett Parbury in the Grand Prix rode a lot earlier than I did and posted over 71% in the Grand Prix, which is absolutely fantastic for Australian dressage. Uh, with all these international judges here, to have a score like that is sensational for our sport. Uh, with such a high score posted, um, it gave me a lot to chase in the Grand Prix and unfortunately I'm not quite as fit as I'd like to be. I've had a disc injury in my back. So I sort of felt that I let the combination down this time and Alabaster was uh, asked to, to be more trustworthy and, and take care of me a little bit in the test. Uh, thankfully he did and we had just over 70%. So again, for Australian dressage to have uh, Brett Parbury and, and myself with our horses having 70% and above is absolutely sensational going into uh, Olympic preparations for next year.